on to the second one. Again, still the same three rolls of mesh. So we use 16, 16 orange, 16 black, 16 white on that one. We are using this gorgeous stained glass. Looks like stained glass sign. It's just a simple monarch butterfly. These are in-house signs that we make. This one is 1635. Um, again, you can pull what you can find a sign that you like and pull out any three colors and make the exact same thing. Now the petal I'm going to do for this one, and I am using the small board. What I've done is I've done row two, I mean row one, sorry, row one, normal holes, row two, again, I'm doing the two. I'm not using the normal holes on this one. I'm doing two, skipping the normal holes, two, skipping the normal holes. That gives me 16 pieces of black, 16 pieces of white, and then we're gonna be doing eight and eight pieces of orange on the small board. Um, and this flower will be a little bit smaller than the one we just did on the large board. Okay, this is the same mesh again that we we just used and I don't mean the same number it's the actual roll of mesh is the same okay so this one is a, t a different take on the Rita petal let me grab another drink of water okay so Like I said, it's a different take. Hey, peaches. <laughs> Did you make it to Amish country? All right. Again, we have our 10 and a half by 10 and a half piece. Curl up. Factory edge. Top left, bottom right. We're going to take that top corner. We're bringing it to the bottom corner. Again, we are only concerned about the edges or the, the corners here. All right, so whatever you have, even a paper clip will work to help hold your corners together. Okay, so a Rita petal. We, this is kind of like the bubble petal, right? We flipped it over. A Rita petal is where you're gonna take, go from the bottom and straight up the middle, okay? I'm gonna use little rubber bands to help me here. You're going to pinch, pinch, and drag and pinch and pleat or whatever you want to call it right up to the center okay and you're just going to flip it up all right so when you look this is one's going one way the other is going the other way okay and i'm going to put a little rubber band on it just to help me explain how i'm going to do this petal okay so that is your typical Rita petal like that. So they kind of act all, uh, I don't know. They already look like kind of butterfly wings or angel wings or whatever, right? Now I'm using the small board and when I was playing, when I was doing the petals, I'm like, the Rita petal is a little wide. I don't want my petals so wide using the small board. Um, so I was playing around with the mesh and I came up with that if you take, it doesn't matter actually what side you do. So if you take the left side, bring it over. Okay. So there's the, my right hand has the tattoo, right? Take the left pedal, bring it over the right pedal and make it all one piece we have like a, a lobster claw. Like how did nobody do that? <laughs> right? Okay, so it's all one piece. It's like one petal, except it has a V in the center. And then you take and you put that right in to the zip tie and do it up. And there we have like a lobster claw right like what the heck 
when will small boards become available? We never run out. Small boards are always available on our, our website. So let's do that again, right? Wasn't that cool? Yeah, it does kind of look like a tulip, but we already have a tulip petal. We're going to call this the claw. <laughs> I just thought it was like, how did nobody do this before? How did I not do this before? <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to do, again, the read thing. Now, if you're not OCD, you really, you can match up your corners without having clips. It's not like a big, huge deal. Like, there we go. It's all matched up. Okay. We're going to scrunch right up the center. And you're not scrunching, you're more pleating and dragging with your uh, finger and your thumb. The Jim Carrey pedal. What? Something wrong with you, Tina Kelly. <laughs> All right, so there's our Rita pedal, right? And, but I'm going to take it even further, and I'm going to bring my left pedal right over top of the right pedal. And you're taking the base of the pedal and making it one. But the top spreads apart like a lobster claw. And then you're going to put this whole thing, put your nub right into the zip tie, about a half an inch or a fingertip, and there you go. How cool is that? And now you don't, you have, you see the tips because what was happening is I was using the small, and you definitely can do this on a large board. Um, you do have enough mesh with the three. Like I said, I didn't have any large boards at home, so I use a small one. Um, so you definitely, you, you see the tips, right? Remember liar, 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 I'm going to read it. Oh my gosh. Jean Meyer knows it too, Katina. You can talk with her. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, so it makes a really, really cool formation that you see it looks like one uniform petal instead of two like the, like the uh, Rita petal. Like, how did I not figure this out a long time ago, right? Anyways, so... Lori has a ton of Rita petals made because that's what I was going to do. And I didn't like the way it looked. So we came up with the claw. <laughs> the claw. Okay. So again, I already made the Rita petal. I'm just going to bring this left right over top of the right. We're making the base, you can almost see where it, it, uh, it goes over each other. Yeah, I'm not a genius for this. <laughs> I'm just somebody who has too much time to play with mesh. There we go. So you can see the, the petal over top of it and then it flares out. And then you're going to put this whole thing right in. There we go. Pretty cool. So smart. <laughs> All right, so it's pretty easy, especially if you have your bands already done. So it's a really good one for the the large board because when I was doing the Rita petal, they were like overlapping, and you couldn't see the tips of each petal, and I wanted to see the tips of each petal. So, come evolves the claw. The claw is evolved. So I am putting the, um, so when you do, why I'm putting the left one over top of the right one is because the right one is, where I um, wood burned it, the left one is the finished edge, okay? So if I put the top, the left over the right, the finished edge side is more prevalent than the cut edge side. 
So we don't see as many, we won't see as many frays or strings or whatever you want to call them. There we go. I love it. I'm like, holy crap, that's cool. <laughs> Bye, Michelle. So you don't have to rubber band them. Like I said, I had already was making the Rita petal. All right, so I'm, I'm just mimicking the other one, doing the black, white, orange. I don't like that color combination. So we'll clip all these off. And we're going to do the same thing on row two. Right. Let's have another drink of water. The nice thing with this one is the blue is around the edge. It's really gonna make these colors pop that match the, um, the Monarch Butterfly. We actually have a few Monarch Butterfly signs. All right, let's do the white. You guys think I'm kidding when, about, when I say about the laundry basket? There's the laundry basket. So I'm not kidding when I say I toss them into the laundry basket. <laughs> all right. So row two is all white. The Phoebe petal. The Phoebe. Why would I call it the Phoebe petal? Do tell. Yes, the, the kit for the Monarch is sold out, All like, and, and same with the blue one. Um, we will be getting, we have more coming in. I may have them listed mid-March, we'll see. Um, it's more of a summer kit anyways. But I do have more butterflies on the way and more mesh. Guys, you know how many of these we sold? <laughs> these kits, oh my God. That's okay, I'll keep, I'll keep putting kits together as long as you guys keep buying them. I don't mind. Yeah, the, the sign I am using is a six inch. You could use an eight inch and you wouldn't have to do row four. Um, but like I said, you can do this ex exact wreath on the large board as well. Uh, the mesh numbers, I think Tina has it. She'll post them. If you guys like our kits, wait till March 1st. I got some doozies for you guys. Some beautiful spring and Easter. And every day. And then we have summer kit craze. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got you guys covered big time. But if you did get this kit and you want to make another wreath, grab a small, you know, make sure you grab a small board and another sign. You don't need any extra mesh or anything because you'll have enough from the kit. I don't like this lobster claw thing. I, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta say. Yeah, it's getting to be um, craft fair season. All right, I need to do one more. And then that'll be it for the white. And we'll move on to the orange and we'll be done. All right, right up the middle. We're making sure the two, so that's our Rita petal. Almost looks like angel wings, but we're not doing that Rita petal. We're gonna bring that left right over top of the right. And making one petal. 
but it flares off into two pieces up at the top. Well, thank you, Linda. I'm, I'm sorry your wallet hurts. As long as you, you don't hurt, my friend. <laughs> Come on, rethink. Crafting, rethink, whatever is cheaper than therapy, hands down. And we all need a little bit of therapy, I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, we're on to the orange. So we got eight on row three for the orange. My arm is going to hurt tomorrow. I made all these petals. Melissa, is that you talking or Aunt Marilyn? Because I don't think you wreath. I think it's Aunt Marilyn that's wreathing. <laughs> right, Billy? Really? Well, you and me both, sister, because I have so much crap supplies. I'm actually going to start giving away. I have just way too much. It's it, it's too, it, it's overwhelming. Yes, right, Tina. We love to see finished wreaths and our um, especially if you come up with something new. Man, in our VIP group, they they're rock stars in there. One lady came up with um, I think it was Renee. Renee Buckley, um, she came up with a new pedal called the Twisted Sister. And I have to say, I'm kind of jealous that she came up with it first. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, that's, we have one more row. And I am doing all eight on row four, only because I'm using the six inch sign. Alrighty, and for the row four, I'm gonna keep make. Sh I'm gonna flip them over like this, but I'm gonna hold on. This one's not very good. I'm gonna try and wrap this the this kind of around. I want the tips to be a little bit closer together for this row, kind of like that. So all I did was take this and kind of wrap it in the behind and there's the one piece and these two are a little closer together. And then just put the whole sucker in. Well, thank you. Yeah, this is great colors, right? Talk about spring and summer. Oh, I had a bubble petal in there. So again, I'm just making the tips a little bit closer on this one because it, these zip ties are really close together on the small. Now the small board, it, the small board mold is in for repairs, for surgery. I'm getting them to add two holes in the center. I don't know when they'll be out, but I'm just saying. It is happening. The small board is getting some love. And this pedal, for some reason, it really, I think because it overlaps, it really gives off that color saturation. Like you got lots of deep color in there. Oh, I don't know, Mary, it's not my pedal to teach. So <laughs> unless Renee is going to uh, do some lives, but it's pretty cool. I would never ever in a million years, this one's off. I would never in a million years thought of it. Oh, it's 
better. So you have to adjust because one was shorter than the other. Just you, all you have to do is move your center. There we go. It's a secret. <laughs> Yeah, the VIPers know how to that, that she did it because she did show some pictures of how she came up with it. Um, I no, that's not the one, Rusty. That um, pedal you're talking about is uh, was made by uh, Stacy Chadwick, and that too was in a that was in a paid group as well. Not my paid group. Um, I think it was in Deco Exchange. Ooh, that one's really. Come on, Lord. We only have a couple more petals. You can do it. Two wreaths in just an hour. Come on. With a messed up shoulder. I know you can do it, Lord. Yes, that is true, Penny. That is true. They will be in Hobby Lobby. We think it's April. April, this, yeah, and a little bit. What the heck did I do here? Okay, so that, all right. That was a Bubba petal. We are going to turn it into a reed petal and then turn into a lobster claw. Look at that, eh? Evolution of the petal. <laughs> Last one. Yes, Hobby Lobby will be carrying Unique in the Creek. Um, they are going to be the same prices as we charge on the website. So you guys will never run out now. You need a board, you run to Hobby Lobby. All right. Look how cool that looks. Now this one is 24 inches. So it's a couple inches smaller than, uh, than the large one. And where's my sign? All right, we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna put a hanger on it. I'm just going to use these two holes right here. Down, back up. Now you can use wire, you can use ribbon, you can use whatever you want for a hanger. I always use a zip tie. They're very sturdy. Look how cool that is. Lobster, it's the claw. Look at the claw. It's pretty funky. Pretty funky, I'm telling you. And let's put our little six inch sign. So cute. So we're gonna go, got the pipe cleaner on the back. We'll go down one hole here and directly cross to the other hole so we'll have it totally centered. And we just made two gorgeous wreaths with three rolls of mesh. in an hour. Well, I did all the work per prior, so. There we go. And of course, even on the small board, you're gonna put your sticker and everything on the back. Ooh, we're off here. There we go. And there we go, we have another wreath. And everybody loves a monarch. Right, isn't that cool? The claw. Is that what we should call it? It does look like a claw. <laughs> the claw petal. It's pretty funky. It gives a great look. Great look. I love the look it gives. Right? Okay, so we have the, that one and I'll show you the other one and then I am done. I am out of here. And there's the first one we made on the large board with the bubble pedal. All right. 
There's the other one with the claw pedal. <laughs> the claw. With a six inch sign on the small board. There we go. Two wreaths, two wreaths, two wreaths in one. Remember that commercial? <laughs> All right, everybody. Yeah, they are. They turned out stunning. These are fabulous. Can you imagine these on the door? These are like, you know, you know, I sell ribbon. I sell a ton of ribbon. My friends, I, I don't know. Flower wreaths are my thing. I, they really are. I just... I just hate messing with the ribbon tails and the bows and everything. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Auntie Marilyn. I'm not a genius, but I'm glad you're proud of me. <laughs> oh, is it Doubleman Gum? That's right. <laughs> All right, my friends. So there we go. This is the kit. And this is the kit's little brother. All right, guys. Remember to take my laundry basket and go. I'm not doing laundry, but we'll see you maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I have a few kits I still have to do. Um, VIPs, we'll definitely see you Sunday. I told you I'm going to do over the top Sunday. I am doing over the top. So we'll see you then. And that's 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Bye, everybody. And I can't wait to see what you guys make. Post it in the Unique Wreath Creators, our sister group, which is free. I am in there all the time. I don't comment. Uh, sometimes I comment, but I'm in there all the time. So I will see your wreath. Um, I don't comment because a lot of people get mad if I comment on one and not the other person. So I'd rather just not comment, <laughs> you know. Anyways, we'll see you guys all soon. Thanks for joining me on this Friday night. Bye everybody.